Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel. So I've done a little bit of shopping again. It's a favorite place that I go for whenever I'm wanting to top up on my Japanese fabrics, textiles. Bitten by the bug. Now Bitten by the bug is on Etsy. So I needed some more little um, morsels and then I spotted a few other bits and pieces. So I thought um, I would have a little shop. Now, as you remember, I have done a few little um, examples of stitching with Japanese fabrics using their stencils and creating little images within a project. This is my first attempt at the Japanese rice bag. And um, I collaged a lot of the bitten by, well, all of the bitten by the bug fabrics on this project. And then that led on to some other versions of the project. And you have finished watching three or four episodes. I think it's four episodes of my project where I'm working on these um, uh, panels. So I won't dig too deep into that because I have not gone back to that project since... I filmed those few so it'll just pop up randomly um, when I feel like a little bit of Japanese stitching so that project's tucked away over there but in the meantime I need a few supplies so I'm just going to show you what I got now this little pack this is I've bought this once before it is just little pieces of fabric that Andrea has put together, scraps of authentic Japanese fabric for Boro inspired stitching. This is the blues, various blues. So I can hear Mr. Bandit having a woof. Let's just have a quick little look. It's a great little pack because you get all sorts of textures within it as well. So you get some classic Japanese prints. You then get some indigo. That was, that's not indigo. That's actually that colour from the factory. But there will be indigo inspired fabric in there printed. Oh, this is so different to my last pack as well. So this that's great. I guess if you leave it a few months between orders, you'll pick up a different pack with different fabrics. Oh, look at that. The other thing too is sometimes I spot on her website that this fabric might be by the meter available. So this is a great way of saying, oh, I love that. I need to go and order it. And that'd be one of those pieces that I'd go and pick that up, say 30 centimeters of it or half a meter of it. So I'm just going to flip through that to give you a bit of an idea of what's in there. See, that's... That's a classic stitch. Look, that's the stencil I used. So that'd be just gorgeous together. Have some of your own needlework and then have some of that fabric around it, highlighting the, the beauty of that design. There is a name for the design and it eludes me, so I'm not going to even attempt. Oh gosh, even that. I saw that on her website. Such a pretty colour. Some stripes. Here we go. Here's some indigo. You can just see the, the change in colour there. There's some more pieces coming up. Or maybe there's not. My last pack had quite a lot of indigo. Look at that. Oh, that there. I don't know if it's called the waves. There it is there. And I think I did it there as well on the side. I love this type of stitching. You don't have to think. There's not a lot of indigo in this. There was in my last pack. And that's great because they all change. That's what you want. There's definitely fabrics here I haven't seen. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So that was the little snippet pack. Then I picked up some more Wonderfill pearl cotton threads. Um, I don't have many variegated ones. So I saw those and I thought, well, they'll be a bit of fun to have in my collection. And just the classic dark blue, which just looks gorgeous when it's mixed with the, the cream. 
which I have heaps of. So I picked up those cottons um, and they're really reasonably priced. I see these cottons go as high as $8, $7. Andrea's are only $5, which is really good. So definitely worth considering if you want to do a little bit of a top up. Got some of the needles that she had on her site. They are small, but they have a nice big eye. I don't know if they've got an actual, just sharps, big eye with sharps. So they're great for taking these threads, basically. But if your hands need a little bit more length, you might have a few, um, what's the word, dexterity issues? Is that the right word? Probably not. You might find that a slightly longer needle is better for you. But these are the ones that Andrea had on her site. So I thought, oh, I'm going to grab a pack and have a play with those. Um, there's her business card. Now, the other little pack that caught my eye, and I thought I don't have really in my little stash, are uh, some um, neutral tones. So, and this little pack of fabric was $10, I think. Yeah, $10. Eight of them, five and a half inch by 10 inch. Like, that is such good value, guys. Andrea, you are really, really good shopping value for us us crafters oh, they're beautiful and at the end of the day we only need a little bit how gorgeous is that and sometimes you just need neutrals to break it up the only other neutrals i have is when i've spotted a fabric within the little pack and then gone back and did a second order where i've grabbed Oh, this is so, so beautiful. I've grabbed a bigger piece like that one there. I went back and shopped a bigger piece. Oh, I love them. Mm, I love how they just have a wash of a green through, but when you put them with something else... They can have that green turns to a grey. Colour's amazing. Like, look at the edge of that. I'd so steal that off of there and stitch it somewhere. That little edge. How beautiful you are. Look, there's another one there. Ah, oh, bonus. Bonus, bonus. So that little pack, that was $10. Like, look at the value. Oh, my goodness. I've, um, Andrea does shows, I believe, but I haven't spotted her at a recent shows that I've been to. So I can't wait to get out and about to some of the craft fairs and, um, see the whole range. Like, could you imagine a table of all of Andrea, Andrea's bits and pieces? Oh, I'd be beside myself. Okay. Then I spotted these. Aren't they? beautiful now classic wave isn't that just oh i've had in the back of my mind it'll be what 2032 that i'll get it stitched seriously i've had i think i've told you i've had to buy a diary it's not a diary it's a journal a notebook i could have made one but i mm, couldn't didn't have time for that and i'm just writing down one page per idea so when i wake up at two o'clock in the morning I can just pick it up, I write it, I um, throw down every idea that's floating in my head. Sometimes it's a little bit, sometimes it's quite in depth. And then that's it, I move on. <clears throat> I would love to do a beach, ocean-inspired project. And when I saw this, I thought, how stunning. How, just how beautiful. So I bought a piece of that. And there should be a sister to it. Yep, here's the other one. Look at that. <gasps> mm. But not this year. Probably not even next year. Oh, my goodness me. It's too many ideas. And this piece, how random. Paris flowers. I just saw it and I was like, Andrea, I've got to have that too. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a Japanese fabric. But... My favourite things is the theme 
and it's got this floral text Paris imprint. How beautiful. Leanne, you're going to like this one. Oh, beautiful. So I thought, well, that'll go with my mannequin. I could cut out one of those roses and embroider it or even have the text in behind it and then embroider it like that there. Oh, I better go and hang that on the mannequin. You should see what's hanging on that mannequin as possibilities. I'll do that. I'll put that aside. So there you go, guys. Only a short little video. Um, just showing you my latest investment into the world of Japanese fabrics from Bitten by the Bug. So if you are considering doing a little bit of a activity in uh, celebrating the Japanese world of fabrics and stitch techniques, I highly, highly recommend um, Bitten by the Bug. And you can just get little bits and pieces of things. Like I said, that would get you started. One of those would get you started. That little pack of fabric, how much did I say that? That was $20. So for $30, you have quite a few pieces of fabric. Like it'd be, I don't know, it'd be probably close to a metre and a bit of fabric. That's plenty to do a project. You do numerous projects. And then it's just pearl cotton to do your stitching. And then if there's anything you like in there, you can go back and get yourself a little piece of it because that's just the way it is. So, for example, uh, what have I got in here? Oh, I've got my pieces of sashiko that I did in those videos. So I finished that one. I didn't get these from Andrea. These I picked up at just random shops in my travels over the last year or so. And that video series was get them out of the cupboard and just stitch them and see what I like. What did I enjoy in the stitching process? So that one I used colors and that's got that William Morris, um, oh, what was the name of it? Raspberry Thief or I, I don't know. It's based on a, I believe a William Morris. That was a piece of dyed fabric that um, I got from a retreat that I didn't end up using in the project and I just felt it fitted with this. So I threw that in my little box, <clears throat> leftover thread from when I was exploring the uh, Shashiko or Sashiko um, way of embroidering. This is my previous little pack of fabrics and see how there was some indigos in there. I'm actually, now that I think about it, I bought an indigo pack, I think. Hmm. That might have been part of a second pack featuring them where this is authentic Japanese fabrics. I think that's what it might have been. Gosh, I can't remember. That's when I went back and bought a little bit more. That one too. Went back, bought a little bit more. That one. So there you go. So just adding to my little collection of Japanese fabrics, all my little snippets. They live in here. So do some other random bits and pieces. <clears throat> That's why I made these bags, like they're project bags, they're storage vessels. And that way, if I am racing out the door Suddenly my husband surprised me with a trip through Europe sitting on one of those beautiful boats, which he hasn't, but let's say, let's pretend. I could just grab that. I've got my needles in there. I could grab that and race out the door and I've got everything I need. So that's sort of how I store my projects, if you will. Okay, guys, I'll stop talking because I need to go and do probably some housework. No, I don't. I'm going to go and pick up some needlework. Bitten by the bug. Drop over, have a look at the Etsy store. Everything is in the link below. Enjoy your day. Hopefully you get time for some stitching. And um, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye, guys.